I am about to do a rice conditioner for the very first time. I feel absolutely disgusting. Hold it, got the dump in, yeah, pour it. Know what I mean, bitch, on it, on it, on it, on it. They all in my face when I know what I got. Love what you see. You want a deal on my shit so high, yeah, I bet you catch a feel. I don't know who you are if I'm keeping it real. Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your Tara Brianna. If you don't know, girl, now you know whenever best friends. Nice to meet you, sis. So make sure that you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Join the fam, okay? Make sure you turn on your push notifications so you never miss a video. Cause you don't wanna be out the loop and you're definitely gonna be out the loop if you don't follow me on my social medias, okay? So go ahead and do that and I'm excited. I'm excited for today's video. I'm excited to do a protein treatment on my hair because, girl, my hair has been giving me some problems. Okay, I know I look crazy right now. I just finished detangling my hair. I sectioned it out already. Um, I have three twists on each side. So, girl, I had to go ahead and detangle my hair because I am about to do a rice conditioner for the very first time. Okay, I saw this on TikTok and then I found a video on YouTube that really explained the benefits, the ins and outs, the recipe behind this conditioning mask or cream leave-in treatment, whatever you want to call it. So I will leave the link to that video in the description box because 9 times out of 10 I'm sure that she explained some things better than me. But yeah, I said why not, okay? I've been having some problems with my hair. Basically, girl, every time I go to detangle my hair or brush my hair, I experience a lot of shedding and I know my hair okay if I'm experiencing a lot of shedding that means my ends are also gonna be like broken off split ends we don't like that and my hair feels like too soft if that makes sense like every time I do a style it's like my hair feels like mush if that makes sense I'm being dramatic but that tells me that I need to add some protein into my hair my hair needs strength okay my hair needs to be stronger it needs to it's been looking dull like it needs to be a little bit more shiny and I'm just ready to take good care of my hair okay y'all gotta pay attention to how my hair looks now and how my hair looks after we've added the conditioner because I'm gonna need y'all to give me the verdict okay let's get started okay but make sure you like this video all right y'all gonna follow me upstairs because we gotta we gotta go to the kitchen okay let's go to the kitchen so you're gonna need a bowl to put the rice in and you're gonna need any white rice this is the rice i'm using today and also make sure that you have a measuring cup i measure out one cup of rice and then you're also going to measure out two cups of water to boil you the rice in make sure you wash your rice before you add it to your hair just like you do with cooking you don't want to use dirty rice so once you have your rice washed i'm going to add it to my pot and i'm going to add the two cups of water so it can boil you in I would like to tell you guys that y'all should overboil you your rice. Make it mushy because it's going to be better for your conditioner. Unfortunately, I didn't do that. So yeah, I'm putting y'all on, okay? So once you have your rice all done or overdone, you're going to add it to your blender. You're also going to add your favorite oils. So this is all up to your preference. Today, I'm using 100% pure argan oil. And then I'm going to follow that up with 100% castor oil. Use oils that you know your hair loves and will absorb, okay? So these are currently my two favorites. So I'm going to add a lot. I don't have the exact measurements. But do know that your rice is going to need some moisture to blend nice and smoothly, okay? So add a lot. Plus, you're going to rinse this out of your hair. So don't think that your hair is going to be like super oily, you know? Then once you have that all blended, I realized that I needed some water. Maybe my water, I mean, maybe my rice wasn't done enough. I don't know. But I added water to my mixture and this is the consistency that I got. So yeah, once you do all that, your conditioner is pretty much done. And I love how this recipe is really effective on your hair. I did see a difference. And it's cheap, you know, like one cup of rice is not going to cost you as much as a full bottle of deep conditioner in the beauty supply. So, yeah, 110% recommend this. Okay, y'all. So, I finished making my rice conditioner. And I'm letting it be known, I made mine way thicker than what I saw the ladies do in their videos, the ones that I was following, simply because, one, I'm not applying mine in the shower. A lot of people apply it to wet slash damp hair, and they do it in the shower. Hold on real quick, because I need to give me a spray bottle, because I am going to apply it to damp hair, because I feel like my hair absorbs 
more products when it's damp so hold on i got my spray bottle and i also picked me up a brush because i'm gonna have to you know distribute this product product evenly throughout my hair so girl i don't want to make a big mess so i am going to throw a towel around me and i'm excited my hair already sectioned off all I got to do is add the product to my hair. Do know that um, the longer you wait before you apply the rice conditioner to your hair, the thicker it gets. So, already made my thick, so I'm not trying to wait too long because I don't want it to be too thick to the point where like it's hard to get through my hair, if that makes sense. As long as the conditioner doesn't burn my hands, I should be good. So, clipping that up. And this is my first section, okay? So, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about my hair some more because y'all are going to see how different my hair is on the left side and how different it is on the right. This side is way more limp because I experienced more heat damage on this side. Don't ask me how. I swear it must have been me applying more heat when I straightened it this one time for Christmas some years ago. Was that last year? What do you before last? I think that was last year. Yeah. Um, and I cut my hair. I don't know if y'all remember that video. Um, so I could try to get rid as much of the so I could try to get rid of as much damage as possible. But as you can see, my hair, I think this is all my new growth because you could tell like the curl pattern is just automatically different so girl let us pray that this rice conditioner helps me out oh, it's so thick oh my god this feels so weird adding this to my hair right now Oh, MG, I'm trying to get it from the root to the tip, y'all. And I'm just gonna put it all through my hair. It feels very weird because it's so thick. And I'm sorry if I keep looking at myself and not the camera, but I'm literally recording on my phone and I'm using it as my mirror. This stuff is thick, okay? Maybe don't make it as thick as I did. But I kind of like it. I don't know. Especially if you have thick hair. I think you need thick products. This is going to take me forever to rinse out. Usually I rinse my hair on the sink. But honey. You may have to do this in the shower. This feels so good though. Because I'm like. I'm not putting it on my scalp. But I'm putting it at the roots of my hair. And like I'm massaging it. And it feels so good when I do that. How am I about to distribute this with the brush? I just feel like it's gonna get all through the brush. Okay, now that I got it through my hair, I'm just gonna twist the section back up. I don't think I have it in me to distribute this through my hair. I saw one girl do it, I saw one girl who didn't. So yeah, I'm just gonna leave her like this. Everything I touch is going to be so pricey. <laughs> this is not a clean situation at all. So, I spray the section first. Get some of this thick conditioner. I ain't going to cap y'all. Make it a little thinner than I did because the longer it thick, I mean, the longer it sits, it does get thicker. So, add a little bit more water. And let's talk about that. The girlies I was watching did not tell me to add water to my my uh, recipe. They just said to add the oil. And y'all saw how much oil I put. So, I don't understand. Like, is it the certain rice you use? I don't know. But I definitely needed water in there. So, yeah, you guys, I hope this is exciting to watch because basically this is all I'm going to be doing. Spraying the hair with water and then applying all this thick rice conditioner. Um, I really hope we experience some good results, though, because if I went through all this and my hair don't look amazing once I'm done, I'm going to be upset. I think I'm going to let this sit in my hair for a couple of hours. 
just like look at this it's just you don't even know what it's going to do that is not true so yeah you, do y'all see the difference in my hair on this side this is how my whole head of hair used to be um i feel disgusting <laughs> To say the least, I feel absolutely disgusting. My hands are so sticky. I got strands of hair all around them because obviously my hair felt like mush and it definitely needed this. I really, really hope and pray that it provides my hair with the strength and the protein that it needs because doing this, I can tell my hair really needs it. Like, yeah, and I've been kind of scared to do those protein treatments that I see in the store. I'm gonna like pop a picture on the screen for you guys. I've been scared to do those um Afro Jean or something like that. Yeah, so hopefully this works. I have so much of my rice conditioner still left over. Like this made a lot of products. So hopefully um I can re-blend this with more water and more oil so it can be creamy and I'm gonna try to keep it. So yeah, hopefully I see y'all soon with better hair. Okay, you guys, so I'm done. Um, I will say that I did put some conditioner in my hair because I needed some more slippage. It was kind of hard getting that rice out. Like, my rice was not thin enough, you guys. So it was a little hard getting her out. So I used this conditioner. I love this stuff and it smells so freaking good. And avocado is really good for my hair. So I've done an avocado mess myself too. So let me know if you want to update on that as well. But it's time for the real. Okay, so. Girl, let's see. <gasps> I hope I got all that rice out, y'all. I see one little speck right here. Uh -uh. But let's get into it. What do y'all think? What do y'all think? I think I got some really, really good, like, curl definition. Like, wait. <sighs> like, stop playing with her and you can tell my roots. My roots are, like, super curly. Especially on this side, uh, they're curlier at the top than they are at the ends because I have heat damage but yeah this side definitely needs work but it, you can tell like this side has so much more strength to it because it's the hair is so much more healthier like definitely has better curl definition like do you see this curl right here Okay, so overall, I think the conditioner really did work. I'm not sure what I'm about to do with my hair now, child. Coming to think of it. Also, if you hear my mom in the background, please disregard, okay? She be on the phone rapping. I'm sorry, but I gotta get this video out. But basically, you guys, I think the rice conditioner works. I would say, um, some people say don't cook it all the way through. I mean, some people say just cook it all the way through. Some people say overcook it. I suggest that you overcook it because it gets mushy, like really mushy. Like, mine's became a really nice creamy consistency, but the little itty bitty grains like throughout. I don't know if y'all can see, but if you see them little like specks and little bumps and humps, that's boom, these right here. That was all through my hair. So I suggest overcooking your rice so you don't have that problem. Because it's just a hassle getting it out. But yeah, this is basically the end of this video, you guys. I really do like my results. Like, stop playing with her. Look at you, little girl. I love your hair. I just wish this side of my hair was like this one. So maybe I'll only do this side of my hair next week or i don't know but i hope y'all enjoyed this video i hope you learned something new um if you try out the rice conditioner please let me know tell me how it works for you tag me in some before and after pictures so i can see your results okay comment what y'all want me to do next and i will see y'all in the next video bye mamas
Hold it, got the dumb pig, yeah, pour it. Know what I mean, bitch? On it, on it, on it, on it.